Okay guys, let's do a quick summary. I don't have a complete video for you today, uh, just a, a partial due to technical difficulties, but we can summarize and I hope you uh, enjoy painting. Here we'll start in the foreground. We have the uh, edge of the water and the, and the land and the little muddy banks right here. See the grass, uh, it's typical what you see growing near the water's edge. Uh, moving along the bank and shore to we get some heavy vegetation, heavy trees. I use actually my fingernails to uh, give the impression of tree limbs up through there. I thought that was a pretty tree. And then uh, as you come down, you have the, the water and the reflections of the, the water with the land mass. Uh, you have the uh, way distant trees and land casting a long shadow on the water, as well as uh, the, the additional land with the impressions of vegetation and or land mass way further back and way off in the distance as uh, evidence of ripples in the water and then uh, of course you have the sky which on this side we use Payne's gray a mixture of Payne's gray and alizarin crimson which gives us this color right here you see just the clouds cloud mass smaller distant clouds as they get further away and then on this side behind the tree we actually used uh, blue which of course in watercolor dries lighter but there's a hint and shade of a bluish sky and I left uh, the uh, openings in the vegetation so that you could actually see the sky uh, through the vegetation I may go back and add some things maybe a couple birds and maybe even some branches uh, of a darker color up through the openings I may do that if I do, you'll see it in the final pictures. So let's uh, zoom back out. And I hope you like this. Let's go ahead and look.